I'm Ravi Brewster. I'm a farm with my brother through in West Fife. We have a arable business uh, which uh, consists of potatoes, uh, winter wheat, uh, spring barley and winter barley which are uh, grown for uh, seed and uh, in the last 10 years we've uh, established a renewables business which cons currently consists of uh, a wind turbine and uh, some solar panels and we're currently developing uh, our battery storage in conjunction with uh, Gore Street Investments. Our uh, starting point in energy all stemmed way back. We uh, had uh, insufficient uh, supply to the farm and the potato stores when they were all working uh, were tripping uh, Scottish power fuses. This was happening fairly frequently and we were start getting warning notices from Scottish Power that if we continue, we would have to upgrade our power supply. And uh, they were, at the time, which was like 15, 16, were quoting six figures, uh, which meant that, you know, really we were even questioning uh, the viability of a lot of the uh, enterprises. And any future development on the farm was being cur curtailed by uh, the lack of power. So when, uh, we, we felt that we couldn't justify the uh, initial cost that they were looking for. So we then looked around and when wind turbines came along, uh, I thought this was a good move because uh, the added bonus of a wind turbine was the upgrading of the farm supply. And so that was the initial supply. And then it was trying to justify uh, could we justify the cost with, so we did, explored the wind uh, aspect and just how much wind. So it was trying to prove to ourselves that we had sufficient wind. So once we had the grid supply tied up, the, then convinced ourselves we had sufficient wind. We then uh, went into planning with Enicon who supplied our turbine and the rest is history. The farm now has sufficient power and we have a, a uh, outside source of income coming into the farm which is aiding all developments that we want to undertake. The decision uh, for the battery storage at Cooper was Spen uh, upgraded the local substation which is adjacent to our land uh, and I uh, realised there was a major investment done here so there was going to be spare capacity into the grid and always one for an opportunity. I asked around and uh, discovered the capacity market was an option. I initially went, was looking to achieve that requirement through a gas turbine, but during my time in trying to uh, develop that, uh, I got approached by an agent if I would consider battery storage. And very shortly, the whole project changed from gas into battery in its entirety. We tied up our grid connection. Then we went to planning, which was uh, assisted by an agent. Uh, once we got the planning confirmed and the, we had the grid confirmed, we then looked around uh, or, uh, for a developer to develop the site. So in, in our situation here, we Gore Street Battery Storage Fund, it's a London, London fund dedicated purely for battery storage. Uh, they came on board and they have then taken the reins and developed the whole project from appointing uh, contractors and uh, buying all the equipment. So uh, yeah, I've, I've very much taken a backward step uh, at that stage. So it's purely down to the tenant or the leasee or the renter uh, to uh, develop the site as and how they want. The initial steps for uh, renew any renewable projects is having uh, available grid capacity. Now that requires a substation to be nearby and uh, whether you contact uh, your local uh, electrical uh, network supplier, whether that's SPEN or SSE, uh, directly or you use an agent that's down to farmer's own particular uh, I approached I uh, 
through two agents uh, to make a different approach, but we, the answer that came back was the same, which wasn't uh, surprising. Uh, and then I decided to go with one, and we then built the project up together. So if you don't have grid capacity, there is always, you can travel distance, but the more, further away the substation, the more cost is involved. So the less likely a developer will be keen to take a business on. But at the moment, there is a pent up demand for these projects. Uh, so there is still a lot of uh, keenness from uh, third parties to come in and develop sites. Uh, it's just being aware that uh, you, where your grid connections are and what might be available. The site here was always designed to be uh, the capacity market uh, and that's what we've gone down and I'm 99% I'm certain that's what Gore Street are still proceeding but uh, it's very much in their control and uh, but that was the what was what attracted me to ele electric storage was a capacity market. But I think you you develop your own project uh, with what capacity you've got, and you're, depending on what developer wants to do, I think it's down to them very much. But capacity is one of the many options that are available to the battery storage world. My advice to any farmer is uh, you all will have land agents, uh, speak to your land agent if you've got the opportunity. You know, once, once you've identified that there's a possibility and uh, you've got a developer, you know, you've got many options. You could, the options are to sell the site to the developer, uh, to lease the site over a period or to rent it, depending what is your preference. Our, our situation here is we've leased the site to Gore Street and uh, hopefully the lease lasts as long as what it says on paper, but uh, time will tell. Thank you.